Okay. This is a game I'm excited to record. I do love this game. This is War on the Sea, the Tokyo Express mod. And uh, I have a few add-ons and some file edits that I've done to the game. Now, this game normally takes quite a while. It takes a while to build up all the points. It takes a while to build up all the supplies. However, you can go into the file and edit all of your starting uh, supplies. Your points, your supplies. Now, I did do the points, but I didn't do the supplies. I just thought of that. Probably should have done the supplies. But, all in all, I'm going to go into campaign elite. Enemy, don't use subs because I hate fighting them. They're annoying. I, fuck it. They can have subs. I have a feeling I'm going to quickly lose all of my carriers, but so be it. Now then. I feel like I'm going to immediately need any points that I send a care If I manage to get the Enterprise or something back fully damaged, and I will need them back immediately. So we'll, I think that'll give me my points back immediately. No, it doesn't matter. I don't want that. I want to be able to go into port, fill up on new planes, and go back out. Pearl Harbor. A lot of bad things. Why am I at 30,000 now? I don't know, but 30,000 is still enough. Uh, I did have it at 60,000, but for some reason it's at 30,000 now. Oh, that's right, because it's an elite. Doesn't matter. I still have way more command points than I ever should need. So we will start off with a screen. Of Gato classes because I do love the Gatos, including Drum. We will do two ship screens. By screen, I mean they're going to come out here and they're going to just chill out up here. At least three or four per port. Do those three for there. New Hebrides, one, two. There. I like to keep them in a two ship tight pack. There. They can go up there. I don't know why I got rid of that. There. I thought about doing all this before starting the video, but I think this is fine. This is cool to see just how I'm going to build out this giant fucking fleet. Let me just put one there. I'm, there's no real strategy to how I'm placing these, since... Once they all reach these destinations, I can then split them to singles to just go off and do their own thing. But I just want a nice big screen. Speaking of, I should have one more go out here. Okay, now we have a big ass screen going up. Okay, Santa Cruz, I'm going to have your Catalinas do scouting missions. New Hebrides, air unit. Again, Catalina. 
one, none. Just do some scouting, you know. Catalinas. There, just do that. No Catalinas. A Sunderland. I do like Sunderland scouts. Scout for enemy subs out there. Which is also where the... the uh, Alright, so we have the U-boat screen. That's the first layer. The second layer, which will be a more closer to ports, is now going to be... A porter class, I think. Farragut? No. Oh, calm down, game. Should we do Mahan or Gridley? No. I want to use one that has a lot. Okay, this will do. The Benson class. We'll do two destroyers out here. We will do New Sea. Two destroyers out here. That is four destroyers along this line. We will now add new sea units. Two destroyers out here. Boop, boop, boop. Shit. Boop, 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 boop. And. Two destroyers right here. Maybe some destroyers up here. This is going to be the destroyer fleet, which again we should have some out here. Uh because this game does not like doing this video this game really doesn't like having a lot of units like this I learned this while doing this a lot of destroyers just sailing around making sure everything is okay I had two more up here go out here. And base of the stirs will keep the enemy subs from getting any close to my ports. Mm, orange juice. Now then. <clears throat> I think I've had my screen set up. Now we build the actual fleets. Now. First, the Yorktown class, USS Enterprise and USS Hornet. They shall lead the advance. I'm probably head, nah, I'm going to say up here. I think I want them to go over here. They will be escorted by I want to say a North Carolina class yeah we're gonna do North Carolina we're gonna do Atlanta and Juno as well As the Pensacola, Salt Lake City, and some Fletcher classes. Fletcher, Radford, Jenkins. That is our main lineup. Task Force 22. I like that. Okay. Yep. 
They're going to be nice and spread out. Fuck it. And they are going to head up this way. Where they will guard this little area. And blast anything that comes within view. New carrier. I think we're going to have some really big hitters. Iowa, New Jersey. I'm thinking... Ooh, Cleveland, maybe? He's got some big guns, right? No, he doesn't. Who am I thinking of? The Baltimore. Baltimore's not bad. New Orleans? Yeah. New Orleans, Astoria... Minneapolis. And you guys are going to escort a whole fuckload of C2s with supply. Yep. Yep. And now we are going to make another set of units. I'm realizing I didn't add any destroyers to that. So, well, mm, the Atlanta. No, I didn't add an Atlanta. Oh, God. That's not good. Hope they don't have issues. But I think we're going to now add down here. We're going to have Lexington, Saratoga. Yeah. Saratoga and the first Essex. I almost want to add another interpret. No, we'll leave it at two per. Don't want to get too crazy with it. Now then, Montana? <laughs> sure. We'll add Montana. We'll add... Portland, Indianapolis. We'll add... A Brooklyn, Philadelphia... And three porters and they will uh, ride light along with them up to here so we have the Enterprise over here and we have the Saratoga over here I think we have everything set pretty much over here except we're going to make another sea unit of cargo ships never mind Okay. Okay, I thought it I thought it froze. We're going to make sure we save because like I said this thing does not like this many vehicles all at once. It uh it, it does not enjoy this. So, Porter 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 three destroyers escorting C3s. Yep. And there you go. A hell of a lot of C3s. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Make 
sure these are all kind of split apart. Shit. What the hell was it called? I feel like nothing is showing up right now, so we're just going to do this. There. Yeah. Alright. And now we come over here first. Save. We want to make sure we keep remembering to save the game because the game doesn't like what I'm doing. Here we go. Effects light. Wait, no. Too many. Two effects. The Iowa and the Wisconsin, because why not? As well as Atlanta. Two Atlanta class. So that's all I have left. And two Brooklyn's. Two Porters. I'm going to take them out here. Convoy up. Nice and spread. Go. It's currently midnight. TF-22 is right here. Let's go tactical and see what it looks like. Show off a game a little bit. This is not just a map game. Mm. Barely tell, but there is Hornet straight ahead of us. If I remember right, F10. Ah. What a beautiful fleet. Oh, it's so dark in the video. And here's the Enterprise. USS Enterprise, the Big E. Mmm, beautiful. Who else is in this fleet? North Carolina, where are you? Yeah. Someone is going to have a bad day. Anyway. We can leave now. I just wanted to see all that. Or we could go into the tactical with this one and see the Saratoga and the Montana. What well, was the Essex? They're all a lot closer together, like a hell of a lot closer. But here is Saratoga. She's got her nice large uh, stack. And this is the ESEX class. Very big ship. Montana. Very large death machine. With the two carriers in the dark back. Whew. Damn, that looks good. Let's get him into combat. That's my favorite part. The destroyers, I'm honestly going to be splitting up. That way they can cover more ground. Uh, 
Alright, and now we are immediately going to be telling Saratoga to launch scouts. By scouts, I think I'm just going to have him launch 20 planes and have these planes do a one mile right above the carrier. Because that seems to always work the absolute best. Then we're going to have Hornet do the same. Have roughly 20 planes. No loadout. And they're just going to circle the carrier. And Shangri-La, you're also going to do F4Us. Oof. And they're all just going to circle above. Because that's honestly the best way to stay alive. Shangri-La is already ready. Also, TF-22. You have no supplies, but it is nice to see that you can guard our ships as they go in. Task Force 24. USS Saratoga. Convoy large. I think I might have the ESEC launch some of its Wildcats. 20 of its Wildcats to do the exact same thing. Yep, because I knew they were coming. Alright, first battle. Begin. We're all nice and spread out. Enemy aircraft inbound. All ships open fire. Oh, there they are. I don't think I can click on them. Oh, I can. Ah, they're float planes. That did not last very long. They did, however, spawn very close. Oh boy. What is this, the Brooklyn? <laughs> ah, that is such a good spot to have the game do a, uh, a thumbnail right there. I love this game. Look at the amount of fucking planes on the deck. All of them are going for these three torpedo planes. They're about to have a very bad day. Oh, that's a beautiful fleet as well. There they go. Nope, no one made it. Splash. Look at that fleet in the background. All enemy planes destroyed, right? Pretty sure. Yep, we lost a plane. Come on. How do you lose a fucking plane when they only sent six aircraft? The Laffy. Ah, here we go. This is why we set up subnets. Laffy has found a sub. All right, let's see if I remember how to play this. Full steam. And we are really going to scan the water. Come on, Laffy. Oh, there they are. A very good attack angle on them, too. Hard to port. 
Come on. Torpedoes in the water. Lappy. Drop down 10 knots. Torpedoes have been dodged. Find that fucking sub. I want his nuts. Come on. Find him, boy. Let's go. Is he around? There he is. Alright, we're gonna drop to 13 knots. You can see the sub. Hello. Bad day to be you. Ooh. USS Laffy. Well now automatically start dumping charges on him. Yeah, he's running. He is going eight knots. We are going 13. He is dead in front of us over here. USS Laffy, though, is uh, making good gain on her. Should be able to see him here soon. His current depth is pretty deep, but as far as the game knows, 250 feet is the deepest a World War II sub can go. We should be able to see him. Oh, he, there he is. He's evading. Bro is evading. He is trying his hardest. Come on, buddy. Where do you think you're going? Ooh, this is a good lineup. Oh, there they go. Do it. Yeah! America! Fuck you! Coming again to save the motherfucking day, yeah. Oh, target lost it means he's like right here, having a bad day. Ah, <sighs> I love causing hell on unsuspecting subs. That we can't see anymore. Hard left, Lappy. Break the six knots. Reacquire the target. Whoa. The hell was that? Lappy, did you just take... I heard a very loud explosion. Is that an oil slick as well? Ooh. Hard left. Hard left. Three knots, circle around, find him again. Oh, there he is. Did he get hit? No. Lucky sub. Lappy, flank speed, get around.
Come on, Lappy. See if I can't control it myself this time. Twelve knots seems to be the best. Right like that. Hold on because I think he's going to solution. The only thing is I don't want him to do his own attack. Cease attack, I'm going to make the attack run. We have a 99 solution. Ah, yes, hello. Wait, wait, now. Ah, uh, shit. We just basically pulled right up next to him, and I think he's, uh, get the gun directors ready. Pretty sure he just fucking slammed his ballasts. He's about to come up right next to me. No fucking way. Do it. There he is right there. He's right here. <laughs> no way. <laughs> is he about to? Oh, hell yes. Yeah, he ballished. Sixteen knots. Come on, Laffy. Why are you only going five? Hard left, hard left, hard left. Sub emerging, sub emerging. Ten knots. Oh my god. Fucking Laffy, shoot him. He's starting his gun. Blast him. <laughs> hey, 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 Lappy, 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 Lappy. You're turning into his gun. Stop. Oh, he almost got a shot off. He didn't get a shot off. Back down you go. Get the fuck out of here. Have a good day, sir. 
That was uh, one of the most fun ones I've had. Oh, that was the Laffy over here. That's kind of scary. That's not supposed to be that close. Anyway. Oh, here they go again. They're coming for the Wisaratoga. When will they learn? You can't attack the Saratoga. You don't have enough planes for that. Uh-oh, scratch that. You might actually be able to. I keep spawning real fucking close. Huh. Look at the massive fighter wave attacking them. And there it is. All three of their planes are dead. Anybody else? Oh boy. I was telling you about to blast my destroyers over here out of the water. There. <sighs> Enterprise. Enterprise, you've been found. Enterprise, launch planes. Enterprise, get 20 planes in the air to do a circle pattern and defend the fleet. Oh, Jesus. They have a lot of planes that are diving in on us. Let's hope our fighters can get them all. What are these? Level bombing? Were? Come on. There's the rear of the fleet. I don't see any breaking through the lines. See a lot of planes back there getting shot down though. And some of ours. But we're shooting down most of theirs. Ooh, I gotta sit up. Oh shit. We've got a break. We've got a breach. These planes have made it. What are they going to bomb? Probably this ship. No way, they're going for Hornet. They should have bombed the other ship. They'll never make it to Hornet. That's why I have such a large diver. Oh, Jesus. Well, that one's not going to make it, but, uh. Okay, neither will these. Nope. They are breaking through a little bit. But no one has been able to drop bombs. Not in... Roughly, I'd say about 40 planes are in the air. Visibility is pretty bad. That would probably explain how they got here. Mm. 
Oh, we're done. That's it. That was the last one. They launched 40 planes. We had 40 planes. They lost 40. I lost three. None of them made it to the carriers. That was from a carrier, by the way. I'm intrigued. We will be using Hornet. Actually, no, North Carolina. Find that plane. Here we go. More. Begin. Enterprise. Yep. An enemy. We have about 21 enemy aircraft. Torpedo planes. Those are the scary ones. Here's Radford, blasting away at him. Oh, there they are. I don't expect I don't expect torpedo planes to make it through. <laughs> It'll help me if they do. Then again, I don't think torpedo planes will make it that far from here to there. There's a thousand meters between us and the carrier on board here at the at the Radford. They'd have to get to the carrier, which is so far back in the line. And it's a thousand meter circle around the carriers that they would. It's basically a kilometer that they'd have to fly through for like a solid ten seconds before they could drop the carrier. And it would just turn into a giant wall of fire. Look at that. Not to mention they have to make it through the fucking fighter screen. Anyway. Beautiful. <sighs> well, <gasps> I didn't notice that. There's scout planes. I was like, why haven't we killed anything yet? There's just two planes left, and they're both scout planes. He's gonna go in. That's the death of their other scout plane. Pretty sure. Yeah. 
No, it's just this guy versus everything. But he is climbing. Possibly hoping to drop bombs here. In order to have enough fighter screen for when we find an enemy carrier, I may reduce the amount of fighter support we have. Mm, this guy's making it pretty fucking far, but damn, that fleet looks good, by the way. Look at that shit. That, that fleet means fucking business. Oh, you're fucked. Rip. You got little tiny bombs. Man, it's still hurt. Put that on the deck of a carrier and... It'd be a couple hours before we could launch anything. Splash. Enterprise and Hornet, do it again. Have a good day. Um. We are going to land these. 19 planes guarding the Enterprise fleet. That is fine. I'm fine with that. Alright, now... We have a lot of supplies. E sex. <gasps> it's too dark. Oh shit. Alright, both of you. Course. Course. Get in there and get out. Alright, you. Unload everything. We absolutely clap them at Renell. E sex. Oh. I think they are far enough. Land this. I don't think they can find us. We never found the carrier that attacked the Enterprise fleet. Mm, bitch. Now is a good time to save the game. And call it here. The beginning of Guadalcanal. That'll be it. Thank you all for watching.